All right, this one is for dual PC setups, guys. If you want to record audio from a microphone and have that audio source go to your stream PC as well as your game PC or your second PC, this is going to show you how to do this. It's a very simple process. And my goodness, did I wish I knew how to do this a while back because I had been using a, uh, a cord, a 3.5 mil audio jack from my stream PC uh, as a line out to my game PC and the noise static and all that sort of stuff coming from my uh, stream PC uh, is horrible. This way, we're gonna send a digital audio feed from my stream PC, which is in the black, to my game PC, which has got the, uh, the red desktop here. And you can see, if you look at the sliders at the bottom left here, this hardware input one on my on the Red Bass desktop program. That's going up and down as I'm talking, as is over on my stream PC. It's the same microphone. This is the microphone input here, all right? And I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's very, very simple. It's using the V-band feature on voice meter, and it is absolutely mind-blowingly good. Okay, so what we're gonna start off with is go over to my stream PC. I made a bigger, this is where I just focus on this one at the moment. And um, I do have a video actually on how to set this up and uh, do your audio. If you want to check that out, I'll link it in the description of the video. Um, but essentially, uh, first of all, we need to learn how to obviously use voice meter. We're going to go through it um, very, very basically now. Um, so these are your hardware inputs. These are your microphone inputs. And uh, depending on what you have connected to your PC, uh, this one, two, three, four, five, these are all different audio sources. Uh, so you can click on the drop down and select the microphone that you want to be streaming from, okay? That hardware input then goes into a virtual input by cho choosing uh, the A1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, or B1, 2, 3. Now, whichever ones that you select, so if I have A1 here, uh, and then on the voice meter um, VIO here, if I click on A, that A source will pick up any sources or any other hardware inputs that have the A1 selected. All right, so I've got all of those selected apart from the game PC, which means that all of these audios, one, two, three, four, are feeding into this virtual voice meter. And when I search for the sound device that I want to record from on my, um, on my OBS or um, uh, Discord or whatever program I want to use, for that, that is my sound driver. That's the one that I'm looking for, voice meter via. Okay, that's how you re record audio onto, or take audio using this program from this microphone into the PC that it's connected. Okay, so it's acting as a virtual sound card. Now, that's the uh, first point. Now, what we wanna do is send this signal here that you're getting from the hardware input one over a network. And this is called VBAN here. You click on this little button here, and this will give you a configuration box. And you can see you've got two sections here. You've got incoming streams, okay? And then you've got outgoing streams. Now we want to set an outgoing stream to my game PC, okay? So we're gonna go for the sources. It's gonna be bus source A2. Now we know A1 was going to be pinging up on the voice meter via, that's the virtual sound one on this computer. Um, but I'm gonna select A2. A2, I actually haven't got on any of the virtual inputs. Um, this is gonna be specifically for the uh, V-band one. So A2 will only take the hardware input one, which is the microphone that I'm talking of right now, okay? So here we go. So I'm gonna say source is A2. And the stream name, and this is important, you have to get this one right. I'm gonna call this Stream PC Mic. That is the name of that uh, identifier or what, whatever that IP address is um, when it comes into my other PC. So you need to get whatever, you can name it, label it whatever you want, but you have to remember what you call that, Stream PC Mic. Uh, the IP address two, now the IP address uh, is the one that I'm going to send it to on my network. You need to find out what your IP address is to the um, the other computer that you have voice meter installed on. And this is going to be, uh, I've got 192.168.1.26. Uh, that is to my my game PC. And you can see it's active because I've turned it on. Let's see if I turn it off now. And if I show you on my other screen, I'm going to shrink that. 
Now you can see on my game PC, there is no audio coming in. This audio is actually coming from my VR headset. So ignore this one here. This is a complete separate one, even though it is going up is my VR headset. So I can send VR audio back to my stream PC if I'm using my VR headset to stream from. Okay, that's the second process. So we can send audio feeds backwards and forwards. All right, so um, this is on my stream PC, as we can see. I have set up the source, the bus A2 stream PC microphone, my IP address, my sample rates are 48,000, uh, 48, you may be 44,000, check on your sound card or your um, microphone, whichever one you're using. PCM 16 bits and net quality optimal. Make sure you turn that one on. That is now sending an audio source over the network to um, to this IP address. Now, if you want to check out what IP address this program is running on, this computer's on, you can see up here it says 192.168.127. Okay, and then my UDB port is 6980, and the mainstream is 48,000. That's my settings. These may differ to you depending on what um, sound card you have, etc. Okay, so now we've done that, that's sending a source or a feed, should I say, to this computer. Now that computer is going to come up right now. Let's have a look. So this is my game PC. All right. Um, and we can see here the audio feed is coming up. Could do with making that just a little bit bigger so you guys can see. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing here. Um, I don't need to um, put a hardware input on this because what we're going to do is going to send the audio feed from my game PC directly to hardware input one without actually selecting any input here. All right, so we're gonna go to VBAN. And you can see it is all set up here. Forget about the outgoing stream. The outgoing stream is for my VR headset. We're not looking at that one. We're looking at the incoming one. This is the one that we're gonna set up now, all right? And we can see it's set up. So obviously I've turned it on. Let's bring that over there a little bit. Um, it is under stream PC microphone. Do you remember that's exactly what it was? I haven't changed it. It's exactly as it was. Capitalization, everything. So stream PC mic. And then the IP address, this is a manual manual input, is 192.168.1.27. That is unique, obviously, to my, my setup, my network. Um, and that was from uh, the PC that I set up, my stream PC. Okay, and you can see the feed is green. That means it's coming through and then all the parameters are the same. So that means now my audio is coming from my stream PC to my network PC, and I'm gonna get a destination, right? So you click on the destination, and you can click any of these. So you can do it directly to the virtual outputs, or you can have it go on to um, one of the hardware inputs. I've got it onto hardware input one. There we go, you can see, which means it goes onto this feed here. If I put it onto hardware input three, we can see it's dropped down that one and it's coming onto hardware input three here. Okay, or we can send it directly to the virtual inputs by clicking on that and going virtual input one, which will bring it onto here. There's no voice indicator apart from, if I lift that up a little bit, these three ones here, these are the master for the virtual input. You can't actually see it going up and down. I just should really mute that one. Forget that, again, this is the uh, VR headset. Uh, we'll look at that in just a minute. Um, so I have put it on to, bring that over here. We've got it on virtual input one. Now virtual input one is this, you can see it here. You can see me talking, it's going up and down. I like to put it on the hardware inputs, but virtual input one there, the master one is here. And then all I need to do is when I'm selecting my sound driver, so I open up my sound settings here and you can see I've got voice meter output. That is the uh, number one. Voice meter auxiliary is number two and voice meter via three is the third one. We obviously got it coming in on the first one. And as you can see here, my windows as my default setting is picking up my microphone and it's talking, which means that I'm using this one microphone I've got in front of me from my stream PC coming in to the voice meter well, via VBAN and uh, it's picking it up and using it in the game. So it will in on the game PC. Okay, now the great thing about this is I can send an audio feed back over to my stream PC. Now, 
Usually I wouldn't need to do this because obviously everything originates from my stream PC. But if I'm using or playing VR, for example, VR requires you to wear a headset and I can't walk around with my static microphone that's connected to my arm. But in here, in this headset, there is a microphone. Okay, so now what I can do is send that feed from this microphone here back over using VBAN to my stream PC and capture it. So it's a good way to capture audio quality without using cables. And I said at the beginning of the video, cables are horrible. Uh, they create static and noise and they're just generally a nasty thing to use. So we're gonna put it in reversed. We're on the, obviously on the game PC and I do have this set up already. So first off, we want to select our audio feed and this is on the hardware input two. You can see here, I've gone hardware input two. I click microphone Vive Pro Media. This is the headset to my um, VR headset. I've selected that and I'm gonna send that over the VBAN. You click on VBAN, open that one up. And again, we're gonna start on the outgoing stream, not the incoming. The incoming one's from the stream PC. And I click on that one for on, and I put this to bus three of my source. Bus three is there, uh, bus three is on here. If I change that to bus two, that won't be sending an audio feed now because it's on bus three. Well, it will be sending an audio feed, but it won't be sending this particular audio feed. I need to make sure I've got uh, B3 selected. There it is, there's a source. I've labeled this stream VR mic and there is my IP address to my stream PC. So that's where I'm sending this source to. And obviously you can send this to multiple um, PCs on your network if you wanna have the same audio feed going out. I just want the one computer to receive it. So I type in my um, IP address. Obviously, if you don't know what your IP address is for your computer, it does show up here. This is the IP address for my game PC. So it's uh, 192.168.1.26. And I want to send this to 1.27, which is my stream PC. Okay, so off it goes. Check my sample rate, 44,000. I set that to because obviously that microphone set is for 44, not 48. I'm going to send that across. And now what we can do is go over to my game PC with the black background. Let's bring that one up. Okay, so we're on the stream PC. We're going to go VBAN. I'm gonna get that VR microphone feed across. I've got it already plugged in. You see, I've got stream VR mic. That is the exact um, writing and spelling and capitalization of what it is on the game PC. There's the IP address. That is from uh, my, it's my game PC IP address. Sample rate is 44100. And I'm gonna put this on a destination three so we can see it pop up down here. And I do remember, I need to turn this one on. There it goes, and it's on. I can close that down now. And we should hear the feed. Let's go to OBS very quickly and activate the microphone. And you should be able to hear the microphone coming through. That sounds really, 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 really bad. Um, in fact, let me just do this one thing for you guys. We're going to get this across. Um, there is my OBS. And if I just mute that, you can hear this is my normal microphone. I'm going to just and then open this one, and this is the VR headset one. This one needs configuring, so it's gonna sound really, really bad. Uh, but I can play around with that, and really, I need to play with that while it is on my head. So we're gonna And go back to the nice microphone. And there we have it, guys. That is the guide to get one microphone working on one, two, three, four, five computers all at once. It's a great feature, this. Uh, the VBAN feature is amazing. I really wish, as I said at the beginning of the video, found out about this sooner. And voice meter just gets better and better as I use it. I highly recommend it. Just one thing I want to say is that if you're going to run this on your computer, you're going to need to register and uh, donate to the uh, developers of this software. It's £10, I think, if you're a casual user. Uh, and you'll need to have that active on both computers. So look at it as a $20 investment to get this thing set up. Um, if you don't, you can use it, but after six hours, it turns off and you just have to press a button. Um, but it's really inconvenient if you're using a microphone and forget about it because then your microphone will just turn off in the middle of you using it. Anyway, guys, that is it for the video. If you need any more advice on this, do let me know in the comment section or you can check out my Discord as well, uh, which is linked in the description of this video. Um, do check me out on my main gaming channel, which is just Fragman Soul, or over at twitch.tv slash Fragman Soul as well. 
Happy to answer any of your questions regarding streaming tech. I know I have been very lack on this channel, but I think it's time that I started doing some more tech videos and give you guys a hand on how to set up your beautiful streaming setups. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video or stream. Take it easy. Fragment out.